Today we're comparing the most expensive ice bath versus the cheapest ice bath. Is it worth spending $5,000 on this thing or can you just do it inside your own bathtub? And I have three of my friends that are gonna help me do this ice bath experiment. In the middle we've got Craig, he's an Olympic athlete from the 1875 Olympic Games. Right hand side we have Steven, he is a yogi. And on the far right we have Al, he is an endurance athlete and is doing a ultra super triathlon on Mars next week with Elon. Let's go pick up the ice. And each of these I think is five pounds or five dollars each. Yeah, that's like 50 bucks. 32 dollars. Not too bad, what are you guys gonna do? Ice bath. Is that crazy? <laughs> you don't do it on the weekends? <laughs> so depending on where your little tub is, you have to take into account that you have to carry all the ice. Luckily for us, Edge Theory Labs has sent us the Edge tub and we are gonna use that today. Uh, yeah, I guess just bring them all. Oh my gosh. Oh. So this is the edge tub with Edge Theory Labs. And just like that, the tub is set up. Just kidding, I'll show you what the setup process is like. Here we have the cover, three filters. This is the actual inflatable tub. It's made of military grade stuff. <laughs> We've got a net to clean out all the dirty stuff. Sanitizer, oxidizer, uh, test strips to make sure the water's clean. And a whole bunch of little accessories for tightening the hoses. Now box two, this is the cooling and cleaning unit. This thing is not light. We also have some more accessories for the tubing. We have the actual tubing and another filter. Oh, it comes with a pump. And ideally you want to put it on a mat to protect it from the floor. So now I want to set a timer to see how long does it take to actually set this up. What are your guys' guesses? 18 minutes. 12. Seven and a half minutes. And the clock starts now. <laughs> oh, here we go. Alright, we're gonna call it there. That's about nine. So that took about two minutes to pump up. So another thing with an ice bath is you have to make sure you have a water source as well as a way to drain it. Bada bing bada boom. Maybe we shouldn't put the electricity with the water. <laughs> That's the filter. You gotta fill it up with water. And they make it super easy. There's a green here, it goes to green, and red it goes to red. How long does it take to fill up this tub versus a bathtub? So there is a fill line in terms of how far up the water should go. Timer starts now. All right, let's walk to the cheapest ice bath. So the cheapest option is a bathtub. And I'm gonna fill this sucker up. And this should be a little bit faster. It might not stay as cold because there's no cooling device, but let's see how long this takes. So my friend Mike Hanna used to spend $200 a month on buying ice. That's when you know you need to invest in an ice bath. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know I love ice baths. And right here, we have an ice barrel. <laughs> So if you want a vertical ice bath, and if you want a do-it-yourself chest freezer, I built this about a year and a half ago. I haven't used it since, but these are two other great options. And let me know if you're in Southern California, I'll sell you the ice barrel or this pre-made chest freezer at a steep discount. So find me on Instagram DMs. The next thing is as you fill this up, you really want to make sure to take the electric outlet and dip it in there. Don't do that, please don't do that. But there is like a reset button on here and a test button. You do want to test this out before you actually turn the unit on. And now the light should turn on here. Oh, there we go. We are at the 12 minute mark and the setup process is mostly complete. Now it's just a matter of filling the tub with water. So depending on how many gallons you're able to get from your hose, shower, whatever it is, that's the last step. So who guessed seven minutes? So I guessed 12. So I go last. Okay, go. we just passed the 12 minute mark. So Craig is out, Steven's out. I'm 15 minutes and Al is last. So 18. Al might be the winner. Okay, so on the screen right here, I can actually set the temperature and I'm gonna set it to the coldest possible number, which is 37 degrees. So now it's gonna set the water temperature to 37 degrees. So you don't need ice? No, you don't need ice. That's crazy. Yeah. That's what $5,000 yeah. gets you. Hey, <laughs> oh, Where's the pole? It's right here. Oh, okay, cool. You forgot your snorkel. Oh, man. <laughs> it has been about eight to nine minutes to get it. Maybe a third of the way full. No, a little, almost half. But now it's fully functioning. It looks like cold water should be coming out of here. The other value of this circulating water is it actually feels colder because when you're in the ice bath, you build a thermal layer around your skin and after about a minute, it starts to like kind of numb out and you feel fine because there's like a little heat layer around your skin. But since the water's moving, that thermal layer is always breaking. So it actually feels colder. It's been 21 minutes and 40 seconds for the full setup with the filling. It took 14 minutes uh, to fill the tub, including us adding about 50 pounds of ice. And we're exactly at the fill line. So about 20 to 25 minutes, I was this right. This is a $5,000 ice bath tub. You get the tub, you get the cooling unit, you get the cleaning and you get a backpack to carry it all. But do you really need to spend all this money? One of the benefits of having your own cold plunge is the cooling unit is gonna keep the water cold, whereas the bathtub, as we go in it, for each person, it's gonna get warmer and warmer and warmer. So the last person has it the easiest, the first person has it the hardest. Steven, you ready? I have it the hardest? Yeah. <laughs> well, make sure before you do any kind of ice bath, consult your doctor. This is not medical advice, and if you have any kind of heart conditions, things can happen, sign a waiver. You guys all sign the waivers, right? Oh, wait, so how are you feeling? I'm feeling confident, actually. I feel like I can handle this. Start. Oh my God. Ah! 
Oh my god, it's so cold. <sighs> How's it feel, huh? It's freezing my and to be clear, Sherman's not paying us at all. Channels are linked below. <laughs> Let's find out the actual temperature right now. It is 52. I've never done Wim Hof, but I think this is Wim Hof. <laughs> oh, oh my god, it's so cold, dude. <laughs> all right, and it is oh, one minute. Oh, oh, I feel really good. Yeah? You feel yeah. exhilarated? What was the bathtub experience like for you? It was pretty good. Yeah? yeah I, I was I was grateful you were there. I felt like it was good support to have you there. 51 degrees at the current moment, so... We well, have to get the whole body in. But you have to get your whole body in. I'm ready. And... Start. Oh. How's it feel? Arms oh. in, collarbone in. It's way colder, dude. <laughs> oh my god. 49 seconds. We're almost oh, there. 49 seconds. Okay, let's just breathe. You want to go for 10 minutes instead? Oh, I could do 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you might have to carry me out. One minute. Time's oh, up. We're done? Yeah, you're oh. done. Whoa. How, how does the $5,000 ice bath compare to the free bathtub? It seems 5 G's. Oh, well, it's more intense for sure. But the fact that you can get your like body all the way into it is really good. Yeah. When it was up to here, it wasn't as intense, but you really feel it. I really feel it, dude. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna tell. Thank you. <laughs> all right, who's next? <laughs> Am I next? next? Oh. Let's, uh, let's start the timer. We'll do a minute. Here we go. Oh, oh baby. It is cold. So one of the benefits of ice bath, you know, it's great for recovery. It helps reduce inflammation, and then it also helps increase dopamine levels. They say it increases up to 200% for like hours on end. The challenge with the bathtub here is that I can't get all the way in. So I've got my feet fully stretched out. If I want to go in lower, oh, this is the hardest part. Oh, you gotta bend your knees. And then you can get your torso and maybe your chest in, but we have a small bathtub here. It's much cheaper and easier to do. All right, there we go, one minute. That's it, this is cold. Oh, this says, this is actually really cold. I don't think this is accurate yet, but it says 46 degrees. Fahrenheit. And start. Oh. <laughs> All right, yep. 100% just getting your collarbone in is extremely hard. I feel like my eyes are just opening super wide. And I've tried a lot of different ice baths. I think this one just takes up not that much space, which is really convenient, and it has a lot of water. I'm six feet tall, and I fit. My hands hurt so bad. Oh my god. Dude, this is way colder. I would say ease of use of using it over time. This is definitely easier, and getting up to your neck is a big value add. All right, who's next? So have you ever done an ice bath before? Never done an ice bath. First time. You ready? One minute. Hey, you know what you could do? Also, uh, you can see my heart rate goes up. Oh. Three, two, one, go. And the clock has started. He's in, knees under. The clock is counting. Seven seconds. It looks like you're just taking a bath. Yeah. <laughs> Should we put more ice in? Nah, just you not big. your knees? Is this too easy? <laughs> nah. How about you get your stomach in a little bit? Put your torso in. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> my heart rate's about to go 100. Yeah, what is it at? 90. It was 91. At, it was at 78. Uh-oh. But is the Garmin accurate? Turn on your notifications to see that video. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and while you're here, just make sure to subscribe. Okay, one minute, time's up. All right, let's go. Yeah, it's actually the worst part is getting out. It was really only lower body. It was only so. lower body to be honest. So I think I think that was just fifty percent as bad. It'll probably get worse. Yeah. I mean, this would be probably be great to do first thing in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. I could I could see somebody doing that. I couldn't see myself doing it, but I could see somebody <laughs> else doing that. Boom! Go all the way in. Collarbone in. You got this. You got this. <laughs> How's it feel? God, this is way. Way more harder. Collarbone all the way in. You gotta go bend your knees a little more. Yep, yep. All the way. You gotta get all the way up to here. Yep, yep. Hey, there hey, we hey. Go. <laughs> this is way harder. Oh no! What's going through your head right now? I'm just thinking of the benefits. To be honest, <laughs> I just finished. I worked out earlier today. All right, Huberman says wait at minimum four to six hours after you work out to do an ice bath because you want to maximize inflammation. But ideally, you want to wait 24 hours or just do it at a different time of day. So if you work out in the morning, ice bath at night. Back to your regular programming. Purposely, because I know this is good for recovery. At least I hope it is. So one minute, time's up. Okay, you can stay in as long as you want. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. All right, how did that feel compared to the bathtub? It definitely feels a lot harder just because your upper body's in it. If I had five thousand dollars to spend, I would get this. So you wouldn't get a used Honda Civic. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's do it. Oh, it's dropping. So I'm pretty certain that the bathtub is around 38 to 42 degrees Fahrenheit. I thought the the ice would melt and actually get warmer, but now it's actually colder. Yes. Sheriff, sure, why'd you get me into this? Knees in, what are you doing? Knees all the way in. How you feeling? What's going through your head right now? Oh my gosh, my legs are hurting. 
90, 100 beats per minute. His heart rate's increasing. He's stressing up. You gotta slow down your exhales. There you go. Oh, All right, that. one minute. Congratulations. All right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so numb. Are you having trouble walking because it's so cold? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it hurts. Like, um, I can't feel the towel against my, my no, skin. Really? Like, no, yeah. Wow, okay, let me check the temperature real quick. So it's at 41 degrees right now, so it keeps getting colder. Well, it's invigorating. I wish it would would have gone up to my my neck and yes. you know, would have gotten like the full benefits of it. I mean, that's one of, the, one of the downsides of this bathtub is, you know, it's small. You can't get your full body in. You can do half and half. Three, two, one, start. <sighs> How's it feel? Cold yeah. bone in, arms in, yep. Ah. Yes. Terrible. <laughs> Why would you do this? The brown fat. We have a storage of, of healthy fat in our body called brown fat, which is literally brown under the microscope because it's rich with mitochondria. It allows you to feel warm in cold temperatures and it acts as a furnace for your metabolism. Uh, children have a lot of it. You tend to lose it over time unless you do cold exposure. Man, this is great. Would you do this every day? No. <laughs> is this better than the bathtub or would you prefer the bathtub? No, I like this a lot. All right. There's a lot more space. I can fit my entire body in. One minute. <sighs> One minute, all right. Bam. <sighs> Get him a towel. That was good. I feel better than the bathtub. Really? I felt good towards the end, actually. Like, I could have progressed a little bit longer. longer. Okay, get back in. <laughs> you want to get in together? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're in the tub again. So if you had to pick, would you do the $5,000 this tub or the $20 bathtub? Definitely this one. It's actually more comfortable too. It is. The $5,000 ice bath. $5,000. 5001 All right, I'll sure. take your checks right now. Use code <laughs> Shervin for a discount. Link is in the description. What's really nice about this tub too is I can cover it. I can come back and use this tomorrow. It's got little locks on there so kids don't climb in and potentially drown themselves. Now when it comes to cleanup of the bathtub, it's super simple. You just go ahead and turn that and the water just drains itself. Easy to get rid of the water. But with the ice bathtub, you can either use this pump to actually pump all the water out through the hoses or you can just take the hoses out and then you have to deflate it with the pump itself. So there is a little bit more of a cleanup process, but this you can kind of take almost anywhere. So it'd be really cool like for Airbnbs, for events, for different competitions, like just bring, being able to bring an ice bath after your competition to quickly recover. That's prima. Since you enjoyed this video, go watch one where I test the Apple Watch versus a sports lab and see if it's actually accurate.